Cameron Boyce, his sister described him as sunlight wearing shoes. More than an actor, more than a celebrity, Cameron was a refreshing breath of fresh air. He was a friend, a brother, and a son. Cameron was found unresponsive in his North Hollywood home. He was pronounced dead at the scene at 2.35 p.m. He died from natural circumstances. Cameron had epilepsy. In this episode, I'm gonna show you what life has been for his friends and family following his death. I will spend the rest of my life Missing and loving you, and all the better for knowing you. Thankfully for friends, family, and fans alike, Cameron's legacy will live on through his work, which includes two TV series and a movie that were completed before his death, but have yet to be released. The three projects, the HBO series Mrs. Fletcher, the indie film Runt, and the independent TV show Paradise City. In Runt, Cameron plays an unpopular 17-year-old trying to graduate and get out of his hometown as quickly as possible. His father passed away and he lives with his absent mother and dog in a trailer. Even though he's at the bottom of the high school food chain, he has a crush on the most popular girl in school, whose boyfriend, you guessed it, is the star quarterback and his biggest bully. But really, he should have been looking for love in someone else this entire time. In Paradise City, he plays Simon, a teenager who is an aspiring singer and do-it-yourself concert promoter who is raised by his single mother who battles alcoholism due to the stress of Simon's rich and famous music mogul father, who refuses to acknowledge his son's existence. Boo Boo Stewart and Bella Thorne also star in this TV series alongside a lot more. Cameron Boyce's younger sister Maya was with him and their family just hours before he died from a seizure. Maya wrote an emotional tribute to her brother on Instagram, saying that she spent 17 years knowing what it was like to be loved by Cameron, and that is the most beautiful gift she has ever received. She continued on saying that Cameron experienced more in his 20 years of life than most people could with 100 years. He always said that if you have a voice, you have the privilege of using that voice for change, and he did not take that idea lightly. He understood his responsibility as someone so many kids would look up to. Cameron always went out of his way to be giving and kind. Sarah Jeffrey, who also starred in Disney's Descendants, said there are days where it shatters my heart. It's hard to wrap your head around something like this when someone is so young but also incredibly special. It's unfathomable. Sarah was with Cameron just two days before he died on July 6th for a July 4th barbecue at a friend's house. Descendants director Kenny Ortega had Cameron's sister and father there with him at his Walk of Fame ceremony last week. Boo Boo Stewart and Dove Cameron were also in attendance, but Kenny made sure to let the audience know as well that Cameron wanted to be there too. Uh, sitting here today with us is my buddy Cameron Boyce's dad, Victor, and his sister Maya. Cameron Boyce, who was so excited for me and wanted to be here, uh, isn't here today. His all too brief appearance in this life, though, inspired me beyond words. And many of us here, and generations of kids and families all over this world, his extraordinary talent and loving heart will be remembered to his foundation. The foundation is called the Cameron Boyce Foundation and it's been set up by his family to remember Cameron by continuing his pursuit to make positive change in the world. Cameron said, we can't take it with us, so it's about what you leave. And, and with this, I promise Cameron that I will carry this goodness with me in all the days of my life. He talked about when he pursued Cameron for the role of Carlos in Descendants, he was told that he's really busy with Jesse, but Kenny said he did not quit. Eventually he bumped into Cameron at the Disney Channel offices and told him the idea face to face and immediately Cameron said, I want to do this. Kenny explained that from that minute, he became like one of his own kids. Dove Cameron also posted a series of photos and videos from the Walk of Fame ceremony to her Instagram page with the caption, family. Cameron's mother, understandably so, has been silent on social media, but she finally broke her silence two weeks after his death with a black and white photo that she uploaded to Instagram with the caption, he was my compass. China Ann McLean said four days ago that she needs another social media break. She posted a few posts on Instagram and made a few appearances, but her last post, she said this. I sort of had to pretend like everything these past two weeks never happened to get through this promotion. So I'm going on another little break from social media to try and get my head right. Y'all be safe out here. I'll be back soon. She received support from her Descendants co-star Wendy Raquel, who played Corella DeVille. She wrote, take your time, baby girl. Feeling is healing. 